biggest thing we do, all 1,300 of you that walk in the door every day, has a safe place to go. Hey, hey Blue Jays, Jays. welcome back, back to, to the, the Friday, Friday show. show. The next Creative Writing Club meeting will be on April 17th in room 1515 from 3.30 to 4.30. German Club will be hosting a clothing exchange on April 24th after school. Bring no more than three summer items to German room 1507 before school any morning before April 17th. Stuco is looking for volunteers for the Children's Relay for Life on April 26th. See Stuco member to sign up. Senior prom tickets are available for purchase in the West Wing office room 1327 before and after school until April 18th. Guest form must be completed before purchasing a guest ticket. This year, WHS started a new fundraising event, Dig for a Difference. This raised money for Relay for Life. We bring this story to you. I'm Nicholas Cito, and we are the D1 Commits. We are the Destroyers. We are the Gold Diggers. We are the Crazy Train. I'm Emily and we're the Oreos and, and we're in the, the championship. championship. So we started doing Dig for a Difference in replacement of Mr. WHS because Mr. WHS used to be an event that raised a lot of money. It's taken four girls, me, Jillian, Liberty, and Evie Bryson to bring it all together. So we did this to help offset the cost of Relay for Life because it's a very expensive event and all this money is going to go towards the American Cancer Society. And we just thought this would be a great opportunity for WHS students of all grades and all genders to come together and have a good night and have some fun. We chose to do this because we hate cancer and we love volleyball. Right, right, what he said. Woo! I chose to join this team to fight for cancer because it has greatly affected my family and to have fun. We wanted to play in Dick for a Difference because we wanted to do what we ask our students to do and get out of their comfort zones and um, do something for other people and have a little bit of fun. So um, unfortunately we did not come out with a win today because we wanted to allow our students to win, but uh, next year it's coming for you. You know, it was a really fun tournament, so lots of good competition, um, and I think it was really fun because we were able to do this for a good cause and came out on top. You know, Team Sports Class shout out Mr. Bray, Coach Bray. In the end, it's all for a good cause. We're all playing for the same thing. Mm -hmm. The competition was good. I enjoyed it a lot, but it was nice to come out of retirement. I fought my hardest tonight. Whole team fought their hardest. Couldn't end up winning it. Maybe next year. There is no next year. I'm going to go cry tonight. I tried my best. This wasn't enough. <laughs> Thank you. Overall, Dig for a Difference was a great success earning $1,300. From Blue Jay Journal TV, this is Sydney Harbath reporting. Oh, because this is our era. <laughs> we get to relive our childhood tonight. <laughs> yes, we're all excited. Um, I am rocking nothing that I wore in the 80s because I wasn't this bold in the 80s, but this is what we did wear in the 80s. Reeboks, the leg warmers, a little poofy skirt, and he's yeah, got the I was, pleather pants. I was pants. a little bit uh, crazier in the 80s, but I've toned it down for this party because, you know, it's a family thing. Yeah, so this was our first year doing this event, and it was a dance with um, the theme. We're going to be changing it every year. This year's theme was an 80s theme. I know that it goes uh, supports uh, Downtown Washington, Inc. Um, to help with the post office building. Ah, it's a great thing that Downtown Washington puts on. It's a fundraiser. It's for Downtown Washington, Inc., and they've done amazing things for Downtown Washington. Um, so. The post office stomp was for 12 years and then last year was this year was the first year that they changed it to dancing through the decades so this is the first year technically just to support the community and have fun do something different you yeah yeah um it was definitely months and months of planning which is normal for any of these events that we have um i we have like a committee that's dedicated to each specific event so we meet with them once a month and we kind of go over all the planning that's involved and they really help me plan everything and make connections and there it was a lot but it was it was really fun I'm a freshman and I started wrestling when I was three or four years old. My dad got me into wrestling when I was really young. I'm 25 and 1 and I'd say going as expected. 
Wrestling's taught me mental toughness and just how to persevere. My favorite part about wrestling is the experience that it provides with all the new people in the environment. Uh, my coaches have just kept me going and helped me work hard throughout the season and on the off season. The off season, I just try to wrestle as much as possible and get all different types of workouts. My season goals are to win state. Thank you for watching the Friday Show. For more news and views, visit www.bluejayjournal.com. Have, Have a great, great week in Blue Jays. Jays.